Hi and welcome to our fourth episode in conversation with the Dean and Director of Six Cricket Academy, Mr. Karthik Jashwant. Welcome, sir. Mr. Jashwant, I have received feedback from parent about the series, which are turning out to be very interesting and insightful, especially for parents like us who don't understand cricket or for matter any sport other than being a spectator and watching it on TV. What is your opinion on it? Morning, everyone, and uh, this is a lovely uh, feedback from one of the parents. Which I, the reason as to why I started this series with the uh, dean, uh, dialogue with the dean, is to encourage uh, or educate people who have succeeded in their respective fields. Now the children have taken up to sport, and they are all very successful people in their field, chosen field. But they really don't know how to go about taking their children forward in sport. So that is the reason I just thought that, you know, uh, let me try and educate uh, the people across the country as to how cricket in uh, India runs. And maybe if I'm of little help to them, I think I've uh, done my job. And I'm very thankful to the parent whoever has sent this uh, feedback. And this is what uh, motivates me uh, or probably, uh, you know, tells me as to in which direction I need to take this program forward. The next question is, how important is club cricket for a cricketer and what is a parent's load? Yeah, it's a very interesting question because uh, you see every cricketer when he starts playing the cricket at a young age of uh, let's say 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, everyone aspires to represent something, maybe a state, maybe a country, maybe a zone or the IPL. Everyone starts off that way but the fact of the matter is not everyone can. Even if I look at my own career, I tried my best to reach the top, but I could not. But what is important here is I've ended up being happy by learning what this sport has educated me upon and made me meet some lovely people. It's allowed me to communicate better in situation, taking the right decisions. These are all the things which this sport brings along with. Now coming back to the club cricket, how it is important, how important is it? Because the se club season is just about to start. You know, in another two, three weeks, at least in Bangalore, it is going to start, and club cricket is extremely important. So this is where uh, uh, a cricketer is judged, and when it comes to selections, the selectors look into the performances of of the player in these uh, club matches and of course the school matches so it's very important for anyone if they want to qualify for selections that they do well in club cricket now to your se uh, second question of how important is the role of the parent i would like to answer here uh, sufyan see my, i am in this coaching field even as i was playing cricket for karnataka i was coaching young young kids and i'm at least about 25 years into coaching and my experience is quite lengthy in this and where I've come across a lot of these parents who of cricketers who are very successful cricketers and some of the cricketers who tried but could not make it for uh, reasons that they were not good enough or they did not perform enough or they tried to you know push themselves too early where they were not good enough to play at that uh, division or that level and then they failed so my my advice to the parents as far as club cricket is concerned and their children how to go about it would be that please understand that if your son or daughter is good enough there will be a lot of clubs queuing up to pick him or her now if that is not happening i'm not saying the child is uh, not good enough but maybe it's a little early if you're going to push the child a little early, making using your contacts to you know people close to you, or taking the wrong route and trying to push your son or daughter into a club which he's still not ready for, I don't think you're. I think you're doing a bigger harm to your child than any help. Now uh, again about uh, how how this club cricket runs is uh, like uh, currently I'll c come back to what I was saying even in currently in our academy there are at least about five or six uh, cricketers whom there are at least three or four clubs want them to play so this is what should be the indication to the parent that my son is good at that level so when he plays and then performs then he goes on to play for the state for the IPL for the country so this is the ladder 
Now, if it is not happening, the parents should understand that my son is not good. There is no point. I've seen a lot of parents who have taken the wrong route by, you know, aligning with people who have these clubs or even the, the, the next step or the latest trend now is where the parents have gone on to buy these clubs which are very expensive. I don't think it's a good idea. If, if your son is good, there will be a lot of clubs who come and call him. Now, again, there is another question which is a little, little lower down or deeper where uh, whether my son will get enough chances. Now my reply to all these parents are that if your son is good, if you are scoring hundreds, if you are getting five wickets, which club will drop your son? They would like to have you in, the, in their team because he, he will be of help to either save your team or uh, win, win the matches for the club. So. So in, in these situations, if the only answer here, what I want to tell the parent is that it is only performance which will bail you out and performance is the only thing which will take you forward. So don't uh, get into the other routes of, you know, which I just uh, mentioned. So just get it into your head that if your son is good enough, the right club will call you. And uh, another, another uh, thing, uh, trend which has started now, you know, he, if he gets into a very good club, he will not get a chance to play. Now, if you are saying that your son is not good enough to represent that club, what is it that you are trying that he has to be the next uh, superstar? Then what are you telling? You are answering your question that he is not good enough. Or, you know, my son is getting into a club which, is, uh, which may not qualify. So my answer to them is, why doesn't your son uh, play well and qualify that, that club? If you are not able to make a division uh, team to qualify, what are you looking at? So these are all the broad things which the parents should understand. And at the end of the day, to conclude, uh, Sophie, so I would like to say that at whatever level you are quitting the game. See, like I initially started, all of us cannot reach where we want to reach. But we all end up somewhere. It includes the the champion of the champion uh, cricketers also. They also would aspire to have achieved a little more than what they have achieved. What is important here at whatever level you are playing or deciding that okay this is not my future anymore where I get back to academics or okay if this is a cricket is a future fine or I get into business or get into a job or I get into I start a, you know get into a corporate job or anything like that you should be happy that whatever level you quit whether it is at the club level or at the country level you should be happy when you quit the game and say to yourself that I tried my best and uh, I was not good enough or the others were better see just uh, by saying that the system is not good the selectors didn't favor my child my son scored 40 the other fellow got 25 they picked the guy who scored 25 so again my last sentence is if your son is scoring 40 and not getting a chance so I am asking your son why don't doesn't he son score a hundred there's no way they'll drop him so these are the things I think uh, uh, I just want to tell the parents about club cricket which is just opening up by the end of this month I think this is the system in Bangalore I'm sure across the country this will be the system and I, I hope this message kind of uh, gives some kind of education towards as to how to deal with club cricket Thank you. Thank you so much. And to our viewers, if you have any more questions, please reach out to us on the Sixth Academy page. We'll reach out to you. Thank you so much.